The electric train. Woo 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 woo! Suddenly, the Earth is attacked by an alien spaceship. If help arrives here on time, we'll be saved. Move faster, faster. Come on, get off the train. Move it, move it. Tom Thomas, we came here to play. Oh, finally you're here. I need some aliens for this game. What kind of aliens are you talking about? Just plain old aliens. You know the ones. They come destroy the Earth and just about everything. We don't want to destroy anything at all. Why can't we be uh, the train engineers, huh? Train engineers? <laughs> you don't know anything about driving a train. Oh, we know plenty about trains. Humans invented the railroad long ago. But back then, the rails were made out of wood. People didn't start making metal rails until the end of the 18th century. But the first railroad cars had no engines to give them their power. Instead, they used horses to pull them along. Later, horses were replaced by the steam engine. Wood and coal would burn in their furnaces to boil the water in the boilers, making the steam that turned their wheels. And the Fixies were there to help those trains go, making sure all of the parts could work together smoothly. But now steam engines have long gone away. The railroad uses electricity now for its power. These electric trains race along the railway at almost the speed of an airplane. So you might know trains, but you'll still be the aliens. This railroad is mine. So you're gonna play the way I want. The train is unloaded and leaving the station. You can play choo-choo by yourself. And I will. Pew, 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 pew. Hmm. Hey, why did you stop? This doesn't help either. It's not going at all. Simka! No lick. Where are you? Did I hurt your feelings or something? Mom, is Dad gonna be home soon? No, is something the matter? We've been attacked by evil aliens. The train has to be fixed right away, or we'll never escape them. Uh, mm-hmm. You want some tea? Ah, I've got to think of something. Simka, no lick. I know you're in there. Please forgive me if I hurt your feelings. I'm really sorry. There's nobody but you that can save the world from the evil aliens. All right, it talked us back into it. Well, let's go and check the rails. Nolik, follow me. I'm faster. Whoa! Well, so much for being faster. But it looks like I found the brake. Tom Thomas, the rails are broken. I know, and so? You know, but that's why your train's not running. Just like a real train, model trains run on electricity. But there aren't any batteries inside the locomotive to pull the other cars. The engine gets its electricity from the rails. Each piece of the rail has a wire in it. If the rails come apart, the electricity can't flow through the track and get to the train. And without electricity, the train's engine just stops going. So reconnect the rails and your train will run again. Uh-huh. Put them together. Ah. Yes! Hooray! The train's running! Way to go! So will you play with me now? And which way are we playing this time? Whatever you want, I'm with you. The train rushes down the track with Nola as its engineer, when suddenly from out of the sky comes an alien spaceship. Greetings to you, O people of planet Earth. I come from far away, from another galaxy. Have you come to destroy everything? No, I've come 
come to fix it all. Oh! The flashlight. Where is that thing? Hi, Tom Thomas. What are you looking for? The flashlight. Ah, here it is. Why do you need it? Katya, I want to talk with her. Why not use the phone? This thing's a flashlight. It's not a telephone. No, you don't understand. Me and Katya came up with a secret code. If I flash just once, then it means, hello there. Oh, and Katya's also said hello there to you. And two flashes? What's that? Katya's asking if everything's all right. Now I'll tell her that everything's good. Oh, what's wrong with this? I think it's not working right. I see, Nolik. But what's wrong? Any flashlight is nothing more than a battery and a light bulb connected by some wires that are used to make a switch in between them. To turn on a flashlight, you flip on a switch. That lets the electricity flow through the wires from the battery to the bulb so it lights up. And if it won't light up, that means that the battery is dead, the light bulb is burned out, or the switch is broken. And now let's put all this theory into practice. I'm sorry, but I don't have time right now. Don't you get it? If I don't signal back, she'll think that I don't want to talk to her. And that would just be terrible. Just don't get all worked up. We'll help you. But first, we need to get the Mac uh, uh, um, the pack -a and come right back. See ya. Did you hear that? Masya, what a weird sound. Uh-huh. That's new. <laughs> now we know what the noise was. <sighs> Papus, can we use a pack -a mat to fix a flashlight? Really, did you say a flashlight? <laughs> Do you know the story about when Granddad had to travel for miles on top of a dog? It's true! He was sent on a very important mission. A huge flashlight repair. What kind was it? A special kind called a lighthouse. A lighthouse is a tall structure with a huge flashlight on top of it that is used to help ships and planes find their way. People have been using lighthouses since ancient times. The most famous of them all is the Lighthouse of Alexandria. It was built in Egypt more than 2,000 years ago, and it was more than 100 meters tall. The ancient Greeks considered this lighthouse one of the seven wonders of the world. In ancient times, people would burn big fires on top of lighthouses. Today, the light comes from powerful electric bulbs. Many of today's lighthouses not only give off light, but they send radio signals, too. Yes, thanks to lighthouses, ships and planes for miles around learn where they need to sail or where they've got to fly in order to stay safe. And thanks to that heroic deed of your grandfather, that big old lighthouse started working. Since then, not a single ship has ever gone astray. Simka! And what if we don't just fix the flashlight, but we do something heroic? Like Grandpus did. Uh-huh. All right, what do you say? Let's jump on the back of this dog and get moving. Stop ducking. Whoa. Grab hold of my hand. Uh-oh. Uh Chusaka, no! Get out right now! <sighs> Tish! <laughs> that was really some heroic deed! Now it's time to go get that lighthouse fixed. Tom Thomas, hand the lighthouse over. What kind of lighthouse? The one that's your flashlight. Uh, I have no use for it. What do you mean, no use for it? But then how are you going to 
can't tell Katya what she needs to know. I already told her. Watch this. No, that wasn't the deal. Yeah. You want to tell us our heroic deed was in vain? Well, if you need some heroic deed, then sure, fix it. Please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out.